Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen to that silly music. What are you Cretans doing? Oh, that's correct. Because this is curfew. Because way too many people do not know how to wash their hands. They're disgusting, vile people that have no personal hygiene. I'm forced to do this show. Remotely, you can tell it's a somewhat different location. This is my private office. My degrees that dictate my titles. Of course, behind me, you cannot see. But you've seen my nice, fine bottles. 30 year old scotch and decanters. For I am the one, the only civilized Dr. Tom here to educate. You wrestling fans out there, I have to do this remotely because I do not want to go to that hole of filth and viral contagion that is where that hobo Tom lives. But instead, I'm doing this remotely in my own office while I'm dressed in my robes of office. Yeah, most London man that I am here to talk to you about the predictions of WrestleMania 36 XXX VI. As so the Roman numerals indicate, well, you people have no educational background and do not understand the importance and significance of using Roman numerals. You said enumerate with Checks and ticks and ugh, so uncivilized. But I, dig I digress. It's time to talk about my predictions for WrestleMania 36. I have no idea which day these matches will be on. I'm considering this just one whole event, even though it takes place over two days. So let us begin. So yeah, because of the nefarious deeds of that scoundrel, Dolph Ziggler, and his unwelcomed advances on Mandy Rose, Otis of Heavy Machinery will be victorious and defend the honor of one Mandy Rose. Due to... Mental concerns of one very recently married, Io Shirai. I believe the Kabuki Warriors are going to drop the belt to one Alexa Bliss and the most vociferous Nikki Cross. Oh, yes, I failed to mention the match between Otis and Dolph Ziggler. This is my stone cold lock. I'll just tell the hobo to make proper editing. Then we have Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental Championship. Daniel Bryan prevails! He will rid us of this artist collective. Rabble rousers. We shall have the true technicians of the ring be victorious. We have then, oh, in the match of the night, depending on which night it falls, we have Edge, who returns from a most severely surgically repaired Nick to face his nemesis, Randall Orton. But unfortunately, Randy Orton prevails and finishes what he initially started. And that's again, it's going to be the match of the night. We have Elias taking on King Corbin. Elias, the math says, because Elias was looked to me weak, he was tossed off from the crow's nest, the performance center by one King Corbin. 
in a lion-esque style. Elias shall be victorious and win and take back his kingdom. And let's see here. There have been rumors about this match. Alistair Black taking on one Robert Lashley accompanied by his most blushing bride Lana. This I think is going to be a bonus. Because there have been reports and innuendo that Bobby Lashley could not travel because of all the restrictions placed on by the various states and the nation. So therefore, this will be a bonus match, but Alistair Black shall still prevail. And in another unique circumstance, The Miz and Morrison take on The New Day, The Days of New, and The Brothers Usos. Well, there have been reports that The Miz has not been feeling particularly well. They may not wish to spread disease and pestilence upon the wrestling community, but I still think this match in some, some shape or fashion will occur, and the Usos shall be victorious. And Kevin Owens takes on the false prophet of the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. Boo! Boo, Seth Rollins. Boo! Do not like your, your cultish gimmick. It's offensive. Because of the lowest brow of humor. Therefore, Kevin Owens will provide some civility and will be victorious. And then in a boneyard match, which I believe if the internet rumors, and they are very rarely true, this comes from a credible source. It will be a buried alive match in a cemetery. Matches of the true grave for the Undertaker will take on AJ Styles. This is the Undertaker's speciality. The Undertaker prevails. And then oh, WWE. So much talent, but yet you, you you squander all their abilities. You put them in meager storylines, and you rush them to the grandest stage of them all before the times do. Have for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Bailey, the champion, versus Lacey Evans. Versus Naomi. Versus her best friend. Versus, again, Bailey's best friend, Sasha Banks. Versus a returning Tamina. There will be deceit. There will be confusion. There will be villainy. And Sasha Banks becomes the SmackDown Women's Champion. Then in a high five funhouse match. Yes! Oh, one of epic proportion. We have John Cena taking on Bray Wyatt? Or is it The Fiend? We shall determine. John, for John Cena might be facing both individuals in a Jekyll and Hyde mastercrafted performance. Also, to avenge himself and possibly turn John Cena. Bray Wyatt shall be victorious in either of his Dr. Jekyll form as Bray Wyatt or the Mr. Hyde form of the Fiend. 
Rebecca Lynch defends her Raw Women's Championship against Shayna Baszler. The upstart from NXT. Shayna Baszler is victorious and becomes the Women's Champion. This next item is perplexing. Roman Reigns Again, actually self-reporting, so this is not unspeculated rumors or random innuendo. Roman Reigns himself has declared himself ineligible for WrestleMania because, of course, of pre-existing condition. Of course, leukemia is no laughing matter. And who can blame the man? Would you want to be around your family and friends? during this most tumultuous period of time or risk being by the, the dregs of society and around the germs and plagues and pestilence so no one said rain said no I shall live to fight another day Goldberg is going to be taking on a mystery opponent. Hmm. I shall pen in Braun Strowman. For he is not on this card. Indeed. But Goldberg shall retain the Universal Championship. And then. This has to be the main event of one of these two nights. Brock, the Beast, the undefeated champion, takes on from Scotland a man of honor and integrity, of brute strength, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre takes. The belt off the beast, and not only is he the Royal Rumble winner, he's also the WWE champion. And finally, Rhea Ripley from across the pond again, bum slicks. Good day to you, good sir. Takes on Charlotte Flair. Well, what does Charlotte have to gain by winning? This NXT Championship, this is meaningless. This is just a trinket. This is a token of a true flair upbringing. Shame on you, WWE. But Rhea Ripley retains her Women's NXT Championship. And again, we shall see on Monday how well I've predicted my insight and mathematical analysis has taken me again when the that that, that that's a hobo hobo tom comes back gives his report upon this for he might not be yet done his copyright violations because of his questionable tactics Indeed. Again, I bid the all a fair adieu. And again, stay well. And avoid any miscreants that may pass on contagions. Again, follow your elected leader's suggestions. Stay in. For I shall. It's not like I want to mingle with the plebes anyway. Again, farewell and stay well. And hopefully I shall see you again. Farewell.